My father, who was Alan Hensley Sr., and he's this man here to the left of this picture. This is a picture of his business and when he built it in 1935, or about that time. And he was born here in Stanton in 1904, and he died in 1986. And uh, his mom died when he was 10 months old. And his father, who was a wood lather by trade, died when dad was 12 years old. And so he was raised by a grandmother and also by Ma uh, Nan and Max Mix. Max Mix owned a beauty parlor here in town. Uh, my father had a fifth grade education. He had, uh, he had to go to work because his parents had passed on. And uh, oddly enough, he had real uh, beautiful handwriting with a lot of flair to it. And uh, he also told me that one of the first jobs he did was he delivered newspapers and he would grab the newspapers and run down at that time, there was a train that, that uh, ran from Stanton to Lexington, and he would catch the people as they were boarding that train and sell a lot of papers. In his, in the late, in his late teens, he went to work for uh, Mr. Moomaw, who had a tire business. He repaired and sold new tires. And after my father worked there for about 15 years or so, he decided he'd go into business for himself, and he opened up this tire shop in the 30s. I'm not sure what what year, but sometime in the 30s. And this this building is, was located across from the old fire department downtown on Central Avenue, and uh, it was right straight across the street. And Somewhere in the 50s, he decided that he would leave this spot and go to a new location, which is in front of the Catholic Church. And he built, his, built a building. And in 1958, there was a fire. And the fire department was a half a block away and they couldn't find out where the fire was because of all the smoke of the rubber, of the rubber burning. And it just filled all of downtown Stanton. But they finally found it and got it out. He rebuilt, and in, uh, in the early 60s, Sure or Stanton Urban Renewal uh, bought his place along for about 20 or 30 more businesses. And there are now uh, three banks, Scott and Springfeller and uh, Hardy's Restaurant on this piece of land. And that's my story.